Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome to our third episode of the U.S. History GCAST as presented by Gibsonian Institute. Today, we will be looking at the state legislative branch, one of three branches that we will look at with the Illinois State Constitution of 1970. Let's get started. First, with our objectives for today, uh, we will be able to identify and differentiate the roles and details of the Illinois House of Representatives. You may see me mention them as reps or House of Reps or House uh, versus the Illinois Senate. All right. We will first begin with what is known as the General Assembly. The General Assembly is the Illinois version of Congress. Of course, we remember from last year that Congress is the House of Representatives plus the Senate. So the Illinois General Assembly will be the House of Representatives plus the Senate, just pertaining only to the Illinois version. All right. So very similar right there. In both representative houses, meaning the Illinois House of Representatives and the Illinois Senate, we will see the following. First, they are both elected by the people. That means we've 18 and older, vote vote uh, in November to decide who's going to represent us based on the districts uh, allotted. Both uh, receive a salary of $67,836. Uh, both must be able to uh, fulfill the requirement of a minimum age of 21 years old and require two years of residence in the district in which they will serve. And then, of course, if you're going to reside in an Illinois district, you must also uh, be a U.S. citizen. Again, it's worth noting that you do not need to be uh, you do not have to have been born in the United States, but you do need to be a full fledged U.S. citizen and have lived in the district that you're going to represent for at least two consecutive years. Alrighty, starting first with the House of Representatives in the Illinois House. There are 118 total representatives for the 118 representative districts. Each of these representatives will serve two-year terms. One representative will be chosen to be Speaker of the House. Um, the Speaker of the House is the presiding officer in the House, which would be essentially the leader of the House. The Speaker of the House will be elected by the representative the representatives themselves after the majority party nominates one rep to be uh, voted on, essentially. Uh, in our case, currently, the Democratic Party has the majority in the Illinois House of Representatives. Now, the Speaker of the House is going to be responsible for a couple of things, but mostly they're going to be making sure that the House runs efficiently. There's a lot of things that the House needs to have accomplished uh, budgets and bills to be passed before their year is over. Um, and they need someone that is able to do that job efficiently and keep uh, keep the task rolling. So part of the uh, way that they're going to do this is they're going to determine the schedule of bills, um, but then also decide what bill will be voted on and when. So uh, the Speaker of the House has a lot of power in what's, uh, what's going to eventually get passed and how quickly it gets passed. So uh, courting favor with the Speaker of the House is going to be critical to getting a bill passed, which we're going to talk about tomorrow with how um, the process of creating a bill in the uh, General Assembly works. There are special powers for the House of Representatives, and that is similar to the, uh, excuse me, to the U.S. House of Representatives, and that they have the sole power to begin the impeachment process. And finally, we'll move along now to the Senate. In the Illinois Senate, there are 59 total senators for the 59 senatorial districts. And they will serve four-year terms. This is going to be different than the six-year terms that U.S. Senators serve. Uh, now, half of the Senate is going to be voted on every two years. What I'd like to do, tell me why that makes sense in the comments below. All right, so why would we have half the Senate voted on every two years? What is, what is the reasoning behind that? What purpose does that fulfill? Uh, now, of course, getting back to this, there is the president of the Senate, which will be the presiding officer in the Senate uh, or their leader. Similar powers to the Speaker of the House. Uh, they're going to keep the Senate running efficiently in a similar fashion. They just have different roles to fulfill based on the differences that we'll see in the lawmaking process for House versus the Senate. There are a couple more special powers for the Senate. One, they try the impeachment trials. So after it gets started in the House, it's going to move along to the Senate. Uh, and then they're going to decide whether uh, there is uh, an impeachable, def impeachable offense. 
And then they will also approve the appointments made by the governor, similar to how uh, if the president uh, of the United States uh, is appointing positions uh, in judicial positions, they will be approved by the Senate. However, in the case of the United, or excuse me, in the case of the Illinois Senate, they will not be approving appointments for judicial positions because those are voted on by the people. But we'll, of course, get to that when we get to the judicial branch. So for now, they'll just be approving appointments that are made by the governor. Now, uh, as always, there's other avenues of getting this knowledge. You can always look at the notes that I'll have, excuse me, the notes that will be assigned on Classroom through the slides if you don't uh, want to go along with me. But there's also the option to uh, review the textbook pages that I'll assign on Classroom as well. Accompanying this set of notes, uh, however you go about uh, accomplishing them, uh, will be a exit slip based on today's objectives and notes. So make sure that you head on over to that and get that accomplished uh, as, uh, as well. Uh, and again, once again, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead, put them in the comment section below or email me directly. Uh, or of course, add a comment to Google Classroom. So uh, just make sure if there's any, any questions you have, send them my way. Other than that, uh, have a good rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.